Fox News spoke with a Ukrainian native living in Central Texas now on a mission to help her parents escape from the dangers of their home country. CBS Austin's Paige Hubbard joins us live in the studio with more on how a Central Texas congressman is helping expedite this very dangerous process. Paige? Well, Walt, there are thousands of people with loved ones in Ukraine that are trying to help their loved ones escape to freedom. And Congressman Lloyd Doggett says he's going to step in and help them navigate those obstacles. They are so traumatized from the whole situation. These pictures captured the moment Mariana Kontinko reunited with her parents for the first time since 2019. She says Russia's invasion in Ukraine forced them to leave their beloved country and seek safety in Poland. I am so glad they made this trip alive, but I know that it's going to impact them for the rest of their lives. Wanting to make sure they were okay, Kontinko left Austin to visit them. Both are in their mid to late 60s with medical conditions. She says their journey was difficult, to say the least. They are afraid of every noise, every, every loud sound. They haven't slept for days. They were sitting in a cold cellar. They had to travel through back uh, trains. They had to stand for hours. Well, we're hearing uh, from a number of people who are stranded all over Eastern Europe. Congressman Lloyd Doggett is now helping her and others with loved ones in Ukraine expedite paperwork to gain U.S. citizenship and escape their war-torn country. We're trying to provide them the information they need, uh, in this case, uh, to get the, that information to the National Visa Center here in the United States ultimately to get them an interview with a consulate wherever they may be located so that she can bring her parents here just as quickly as possible. Doggett says they've received an acknowledgement from the visa center, but that doesn't mean they can hop on a plane and head to the U.S. just yet. In order to get asylum in the United States, you have to prove that you are fleeing political extremism or that you have an educational or family reason to come to the United States. And even then, it's quite difficult. Jeremy Surrey, a public affairs professor at UT, says the U.S. has some of the most restrictive immigration policies, and that's partially slowing down the process. I hope by us figuring out the right process right now, being supported by Congressman Lloyd Doggett will help other families. Now, as for when Kotiko's parents can join her here in the States, Doggett tells us that's hard to estimate because there are so many barriers in place. But the good news is Mariana's parents are at the front of the line and have the most favorable circumstances. Live in the studio, Paige Hubbard reporting, CBS Austin News. That's good to hear. Thanks, Paige. Since 